Number 1. Chevrolet Biscayne. 1962 year of issue. Six cylinder three speed stick. Starts and runs excellent and yard drivable, no brakes. Will need bodywork and paint. Floors have had some patches put in. Rear frame rails have been repaired. Needs a better front seat, the rest of the interior is very usable. Number 2. Ford Country Sedan. 1973 year of issue. California car rust free original paint, only 80k miles. 400 V8 automatic with AC. The left doors have damage, but the rocker panel is not damaged. The doors open and close fine, and it can be used as is. I do have good replacement doors that go with it, or the originals could be fixed. The interior is excellent except the front seat. The engine compartment is spotless and looks new with all original markings and stickers. Number 3. Chevrolet Master. 1941 year of issue. All steel bathed in maroon paint, now showing its age with dulling and invasive rust showing up on the seams and where trimmings attach. Some of the trimmings are a bit rusted on the chrome plating, others are in good condition. It is an all chrome trimmed car though pre-1942 where all the trimming save for bumpers went in color. Under the hood in the V-shaped engine bay which is unrestored, sits a 216CI inline six-cylinder engine. It is topped with a one-barrel carburetor and has a three-speed manual on the back and 4.11 gears are in the rear axle. This engine is currently not running. Heavy surface rust and a few invasive rusted underside panels are noted on this car. Number 4. Chrysler Imperial. 1965 year of issue. Crown Coupe 413 Wedge Automatic Transmission Power Windows Power Seats Factory Air Power Steering Power Brakes Eighteen Feet Eight of American Sculptural Perfection Minimal Rust Per air that inherited it, the car was driven into the barn. Have not attempted to start yet as the fuel system is most certainly fouled. Sitting since 1978 have not attempted to start yet as fuel system is most certainly fouled. Number 5. Plymouth Scamp, 1975 year of issue. 1975 Chrysler Scamp, two-door coupe, plus factors, starts and runs. Power steering, power brakes, air condition still blows cool. Transmission good, 75,000 actual miles. 
blower motor is strong. Almost half tank of gas, original motor. All lights appear to work, clean car, no cracks in dash. Everything appears to work, 45 years old. Curved rear window design. Back seat in near new condition, bumpers in good condition. Number six, Ford Falcon, 1963 year of issue. No motor transmission, this is a factory 260 V8. Four speed car with bucket seats and console. Rangoon red color code. Has lower quarter panel rust out, but the floor structures are pretty savable. Rear floors have some rust out starting. Rear quarters have some ugly splices on them also. Was hit on the pass front corner at one time. Has some tower and structure denting. Interior is fairly complete. Missing rear quarter chrome strips, home. Number seven, Chrysler Imperial, 1967 year of issue. 1967 Chrysler Imperial Crown Coupe. Two door hardtop, 440 V8 engine and auto trans. All original with factory options. Runs and drives. Need some minor restoration. I've owned this car for approximately 20 years. Number eight, Ford F600, 1965 year of issue. 1965 Ford F600 flatbed. Believe it's 391 V8, four speed, with spilt axle. Twelve to fourteen feet bed. GVW twenty one thousand pounds, six thousand front. Fifteen thousand rear was sitting in our lot. Got it up and running. Odometer says 65000. Number one, GMC Sierra. 1971 year of issue. 1971 GMC Sierra Grande 400 Invader. 1971 GMC introduced the Holy Grail along with power stern air conditioned bucket seats. Console disc brakes, five lugs, the wood grain glove box, the leather headline, GM, AM. Radio three speed transmission, turbo long bed, dual headlights. GMC's first luxury pickup truck, the 400 Invader, Holy Grail. Second owner, all original, all original and intact, 2WD42585 miles, all original. Support the creation of our videos with your subscription. Number two, Oldsmobile Coupe, 1929 year of issue. Nineteen twenty nine Oldsmobile F twenty nine Special Coupe, complete and partially restored. 
flat six engine, dual side mounts, trunk rack, golf club door, The original engine was disassembled and an engine block has been overhauled. Reboard with pistons, rings, rods, bearings and crankshaft assembled. Ready to be installed. The rear drivetrain has new parts, wheel spokes refurbished. And the body sandblasted. The body wood is original and solid. Number 3. Triumph Spitfire, 1980 year of issue. nineteen eighty triumph spitfire convertible white i have the hard and soft top the original rubber bumper but not on it chrome luggage rack and headlight covers Spare tire and lots of extra parts, the interior needs to be restored. The engine isn't the original, it does start but problem with the clutch I've been told. Odometer needs to be hooked up. Number 4, GMC 100, 1949 year of issue. 1949 GMC 100 panel truck, very complete. Rusted through on rocker panels, pictures, and next to gas inlet. Most of floor in very good condition. Rusted through at driver's floor. Battery compartment has rust. PA truck, do not see a lot of these listed. No title, wonderful restoration project. Number five. Chevrolet Monte Carlo, 1973 year of issue. Nineteen seventy three Chevy Monte Carlo. V eight automatic AC. Power brakes and power steering, console shift, the car has been sitting for a while, overall in really good shape. Has front swivel bucket seats, I have all four original hubcaps, I have not tried to start the vehicle. Clean NM title. With all the documents for vehicle transfer. Number 6. Buick Riviera. Nineteen seventy eight year of issue. Nineteen seventy eight Buick Riviera.
original unrestored car. The original interior is in good shape and includes power windows and power seats. This Riviera is powered by a V8 engine and an automatic transmission. It comes with power steering, power brakes, and air conditioning. It runs and drives. Air conditioning, power brakes, power steering. Number 7. Chevrolet Corvair. 1963 year of issue. For consignment, a Chevrolet Corvair Monza edition from 1963. A respray of silver blue presents in good condition covers the rounded body. A few dents and dings are present throughout the all steel body along with some underlying rust bubbling and cracking. Mounted into the rear is the horizontally opposed six-cylinder 164 CI Boxer engine. It has dual one-barrel carburetors to feed it fossils and air and there is a two-speed Powerglide automatic transmission on the back. A 3.55 final drive puts the power to the pavement. Underneath we see surface rust mostly reserved for the suspension and framing near the back. Number 8. Chevrolet Sedan Delivery 1951 year of issue 1951 Chevrolet Sedan Delivery Street Rod Hot Rod, Rat Rod Project, non-running 350 engine, locked up from sitting, 350 automatic, 10 bolt S, 10 rear end. Includes a pair of black bucket seats. Driver's side seat is power. The steering gearbox needs replaced or rebuilt. It has a clear title, he has more parts, new rubber seals, new windshield, extra fenders, needs floor pans, but he has them, needs inner and outer rocker panels, new door and windshield seals are on car. Frame is good, needs gas tank, does not run, motor and trans in it. Number 1, Ford Ranchero. 1965 year of issue. 1965 Ford Ranchero. Three on the tree. It runs and I still drive it on occasion. Has a new radiator and clutch. The headliner is falling down, abs will need to be replaced. The interior is in great shape. The seat has no rips or tears. Support the creation of our videos with your subscription. Number 2 Chevrolet C20 1977 year of issue Nineteen seventy seven Chevrolet C22 WD pickup truck Numbers matching four hundred and fifty four V eight engine turbo four hundred auto transmission. Twelve thousand miles showing I assume one hundred twelve thousand. Runs and drives, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning. Drive as is or restore to new condition cracked windshield. 
Number 3. Buick Special. 1977 year of issue. This is a good solid previous TX car. The engine is a 231 V6 with automatic transmission. It has one older repaint, good original interior. It comes with new tires and stock steel wheels with dog dish hubcaps, also includes power steering, power brakes and factory air conditioning. It runs and drives. Air conditioning, power brakes, power steering. Number four, Chevrolet Bel Air. Nineteen fifty year of issue. Nineteen fifty Chevrolet Bel Air two door coupe, seven thousand five hundred dollars. Project Modern front end from Speedway rack and pinion steering front disc brakes. Body work has been done. Suggest updated. LS engine install all glasses there, racks of parts for car. Number 5, Dodge Business Coupe, 1947 year of issue. 47 Dodge 3 window coupe. D24, titled. Three hundred fifty three hundred fiftieths auto Chevy subframe fifty seven Chevy rear end starts and runs excellent brakes are working. Dual exhaust, temporary gas tank in the trunk, in primer. Drive as is or finish it up. Very nice start on an excellent project car. Dollar seven thousand five hundred. Number six, Chevrolet Corvair. 1962 year of issue. This is truly an American classics. The manual four speed transmission has been rebuilt and many other new parts. The engine has new exhaust system. is a flat six and runs very good. Has bucket seats and the interior is blue. It has a small four inch tear in driver's seat. Everything works. A classics this old does have a few rust spots, but minimum. Number seven, Mercedes Benz 300D 1980 year of issue. 1980 Mercedes 300D automatic. Five cylinder diesel engine. 
It runs and drives perfect. It has 95,549 original miles. Very clean tan and color interior. It has clean title and it is currently registered under my name. It does have a little bit of cancer as you can see in the pictures. Number 8. Fiat 124. 1976 year of issue. nineteen seventy six Fiat one hundred and twenty four spider cleaned fuel system from tank to new hoses to rebuilt car some interior work done Coolant system worked on cleaned radiator new hoses and thermostat runs and drives. But carb needs tuning engine. One point four liter transmission, manual. Number one, MG MGB, nineteen seventy nine year of issue. Great running and driving convertible four-speed manual transmission. Everything works exactly how it should. Has some wear on the seats, otherwise very responsive and comfortable aftermarket radio with upgraded speakers. Come take a look. Number two, Ford Thunderbird. 1966 year of issue. There is no rust yet and the interior is very complete. Headliner is not good and the dashboard is cracked. The seats are in good shape, one small hole in the driver, very straight body. Rust repair is very expensive and this car does not need it. Hard to come across complete body and trimmed cars these days. Could be original paint or repaint the same color, bumpers are nice. Number 3, Chrysler 300, 1964 year of issue. You are looking at a hard to find 1964 Chrysler 300K convertible. with code 845 on the trim plate designating it as a true 300K convertible. This is a very rare project car that needs restoring. It is an automatic car with a 413 cubic inch V8 engine and is pretty solid. This is a very solid Western car. It was born a black car with white bucket seat interior. This is a very rare and solid car. Number four, Cadillac DeVille, 1969 year of issue. The original owner of the car put around 65,000 miles on it. Then the car sat for about 10 years. After that, the second owner bought it with plans to rip the motor out and use it for another project but realized the car was way too complete to part out or toss aside. This car is just shy of 20 feet long. Its 472 or 7.7 .7 liter motor is free of choking emissions equipment, allowing it to make 375 HP and 525 alb of torque originally.
power is put to the ground with a turbo 400 three-speed auto that is slushy and smooth in all the right ways for a car like this. Number five, Lincoln Cosmopolitan. Nineteen forty nine year of issue. Great opportunity to own one of the rarest cars available. Located in Bennington, Vermont. Nineteen forty nine car would love to see this car find a good home. asking $7,250. Number six, Honda Civic, 1979 year of issue. The car has 56,000 original miles and is equipped with CVCC, which stood for Compound Vortex Controlled Combustion. This car does runs and drive. A front-wheel drive, front-engine compact hatchback with a choice of three, five doors and four seats. With 54 GP, the naturally aspirated 1.2 liter 8 V inline four gasoline engine, Honda E-Series EB3, accelerates this Civic to 62 miles per hour in 15.0 seconds and onto a maximum speed of 93 miles per hour. Having a curb weight of 1,565 pounds, it achieves 27.6 mpg on average and can travel 277 miles before requiring a refill of its 10-gallon capacity fuel tank. It comes with a 4-speed manual gearbox. The car has some minor imperfections on paint that can be corrected with TLC. Number 7. Mercedes-Benz 300 TD, 1979 year of issue. Equipped with an automatic transmission, inline 5 engine, power assisted steering, single exhaust outlet, disc brakes, sunroof, body side moldings, four-spoke steering wheel, power windows, chrome luggage rack on roof, air conditioning, cruise control, door pockets, glove box, Mercedes-Benz branded hubcaps, a full-size spare tire, and a spacious cargo area at the rear provides ample storage space. Under the hood, this station wagon turbo diesel boasts a strong running engine. A testament to the engineering prowess of the brand. However, It is important to note that the car is currently not driving since the transmission will need to be recommissioned. Number eight, Chevrolet Chevelle, 1977 year of issue. Nineteen seventy-seven Chevelle Malibu classic fastback two doctor bodywork is done. Floor and trunk is Rhino liner under the engine bay. Is all painted gloss black. The frame is painted and done. It comes with grill and all trim pieces and headlight bezels.
new weather stripping a lot of new parts, rebuilt Posey differential, no engine or transmission, Posey 8.5 inches, differential great project car, You can get it ready for the summer, I just don't have any time to finish it, comes with lots of new parts.